my Christmas list with gifts for girls and boys. There's frilly things and candy dreams and every kind of toy. I'm Mo, still in the keto kitchen, making a film for the Matthews Friends cooking channel. And Christmas is almost here. So uh, I'm going to give you a few uh, ideas. Not that you need them, because Christmas food is Christmas food. I'm going to start with a Christmas pudding. And yes, it is possible to have a Christmas pudding on the ketogenic diet. Filling up my Christmas list, my favorite time of year for Christmas will soon be here. It's very simple. You take your bowl. First off, we get coconut. Tip it in. Make sure it's all out. The nuts. If it sticks, you get your little spatula. Get these courtesy of your starter pack from Matthew's Friends. Barcat. Don't be over generous with Barcat. About a quarter of a teaspoonful is fine. Add that in. And then you've got your suet. That goes in. The raisins, all nicely chopped. Make sure you get them all, they're precious. And then you'll mix spice. Put all the flavour. And you can use as much as you like. Half a teaspoonful. Should be plenty, but you can use a bit more if you like. I just give those a stir just to make sure that uh, they're evenly mixed. Nothing difficult about this at all. It's beginning to smell a lot like Christmas. Sometimes the coconut powder gets a, an odd lump, so just break it down. Go with that, then you get your egg. Pull that in. Make sure you get all the egg out. And last but not least, a squirt of permacetas. Uh, Liquid uh, sweetener is very good, it, it distributes well. And a good couple of squirts like that make it nice and sweet. It is a treat and this doesn't uh, add anything to the ratio. And then you just give it a stir. And that's it mixed in and ready to go into your choice of uh, container to cook it in. Now if you're going to do it in a microwave obviously it's got to be plastic. These little plastic pots. Um, if you buy a couple of ready-made puddings from the supermarket you get these free so they're quite useful. You keep them and use them forever. So this makes one of this size, which is great for an adult on the keto diet. Um, but if you want to use it as a snack, 
then it's got to be a little one like that. And you can make two. Now, because I'm going to do a microwave version for you today for, for speed, I'm going to put it in the plastic one and pop it in the microwave and you'll see it finished. A little bit of spray oil just to make sure you're going to get it out and you just give it a squirt and just to make sure you can use your little spatula which is useful just to run it round just to make sure that the oil is all over you can see that that's uh, well coated It's a nice firm mixture, quite moist. Now if you don't want to microwave the pudding, and some people don't, then you'll have to steam it for about 20 minutes. And if you're cooking a, a family pudding, maybe you'll have room in the pan just to pop a little one in for the last 20 minutes to cook this off. Of course, if you make them ahead of time and you've frozen it, it comes out and it's defrosted, it'll only take you a few minutes just to reheat it. So uh, that might be an option you'll choose. But just level it out. They're not big puddings, obviously. That's not going to come right to the top of this. But it, it's substantial. After you've had your Christmas dinner, this will be plenty. Now that would be covered with cling film and then it would be popped in the microwave and when it's done I'll show you. Wishes come true the same time every year When every light twinkles and you're filled with cheer Since long, long ago, we've been hoping for snow as we cuddle the whole night through on the night when dreams come true. No matter how old or young, there's a magic knowing something soon. 